you get what I mean. Because it's kind of like your own personal preference, really. Let's bring these up as well. Right, that's kind of like flowing quite nice through into there. I like it how it changes the height a bit drastically. If I can come here and just one second, I need to select these as well now. In fact, I can just select. I can. Why isn't it selecting it? Oh, stupid me! I didn't even created a polygon there. <laughs> you can tell how long I've been modeling. It's actually quite late. I've just come back from work, so. Now why isn't it? Go away. Okay then. Right, I'm best it's gonna I can't eh Okay. Right, why is this happening? This is weird. Eh, I can select Right, I'm just going to come over and save it. And pause it. Right, I'm back. So <laughs> sorry about that. I can't believe that. Do not ever click this button. Because it selects it by vert. I must have pressed it by accident and not noticed. <laughs> sorry about that. It only took me like two seconds to saw it, but... I'm oh, sorry. It's kind of like waste a bit of time on the VTM. Well, at least you know never to press that button. Unless you need, need to. <laughs> now I'm just going to kind of bring this down a bit. In fact... This is really sharp here. I'm I'm not liking this at all. In fact, I'm gonna actually start to. I'm just gonna create an edge there. Come back into this viewport. Bring this back a bit, so I can change this level. I can bring this down to kind of gradually smooth into it, rather than just going really sharp into it. Move that up a bit. It's a bit better, I mean, it's not perfect, but you can kind of see how it flows into it. Looks alright. I mean, it's not perfect, but... Right, let's quickly move on to a different section. Actually, just gone 30 minutes now, so I'm trying to keep this under 40 minutes for the first section. Which is not going to happen. Right, I'm just going to quickly weld these. I'm actually just going to get the shape straight away. Just get the kind of the outline of it with my verts. Kind of got the outline now. I can select the faces and just connect them. And I'll just weld this here. Weld this here. Now I can come into here. In fact, this is going to have to come up to this level, so that's at 2. I can select these and change these a little bit. I mean, it's only like the l smallest amount, but it'll kind of give me a nice smoothing effect. I mean, in fact, that's pretty much a waste of polygons, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. It kind of restricts when it actually changes angle, so... I could have done that better. I mean, I could have just totally deleted them, but I'm not going to. Because I want it to look as good as possible. <laughs> I don't think it'll matter in the long run, because I'm not... I don't think the polygon amount will be that much. Sorry, I'm doing things without telling you. Basically, I'm going to start to create this area here. We've got a transparent you can I'll show you on this. Right, you can see here that it actually bumps up, so I'm gonna have to change the level, I'm gonna have to make this higher than what it is on here, if you get what I mean. I mean this is at two, that's at two, so this needs to be something like three or something. I'll bring this up to about three as well. In fact, 
I'm not going to change them for the moment. I'm going to do it after after I've actually got the structure of the whole area. Uh, I'm going to start adding verts again. I'm going to need two more. Take into account that when I'm modelling, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do next. So I'm kind of modelling around what I'm thinking, kind of thing. This will be better, like... No. So I'm just trying to think how I can triangulate this the best. That'll probably be the best way to do it. And then just... Nah, it don't matter. Right, I just want to see how, how this is looking in a 3D view. Select my model, obviously. Yeah, I'll just check and see if they're all on the right level. Push this up a bit. In fact, I'm actually going to have some use for these polygons now. Now I've actually changed the sort of size of this bumping out. That's going to have to do. It's just quickly done, but I'm just going to pull this down to here. I'm going to stop there because when I'm modelling, this is all going to stay on the same surface and this is where I'm going to start to curve around. So I'm going to keep this on the same level as this. I could just pull that around a bit. Just to kind of flow outwards instead of just dead stop. Then it can kind of flow around here and then flow down there. Make sure these are two. Ah, oh, these are not. Yeah, it's looking alright. Now, I am going to do... Move this. I mean, if it's not really, like... If I just put that there, it'd be a waste. I mean, but if it's changing the actual shape of the model, then it's not a waste, obviously. I mean, if I didn't have it, it'd look like that. It's just little, 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 little things. I'm just going to see how much the polygon count is so far, change it to an edible patch, go to file, summary info, it's only 274 po triangles at the moment, and that's quite low I'd say for what I've actually done. I mean it is quite high, but if you think about how much detail there is, just come take this off. and how much details around here and in here and because when you're using it in first first person I mean you're not even going to really be, really be able to tell that it's got edges really I mean I have used a bit too many polygons but anyway this is coming up to the 36 minute part I'm, I could just add a small part I know there's a button on here somewhere yep there's a button here I'm just actually going to create a really quick button I'm going to start with a new plane just going to go to my other view so I can pull it out a bit because at the moment it's on.